most of it's been pretty busy. I think we've had like one or two off days, but uh, so the ops tempo has been, been pretty. Oh, yeah. This is the, the longest day. I mean, if you get, yeah, I mean, if we would have been on schedule, we'd have taken off at 8.45 this morning and landed at 9.30 tonight. That's that's a long day. But uh, we're in Japan, so we're just living the dream, right? Over the next two weeks, uh, the 61st Aero Squadron is uh, taking four planes. We are flying around Japan and Korea. We're uh, integrating with our brothers and sisters of the uh, 36th Aero Squadron. And then we're also integrating with some fighters, uh, F-16s up at Misawa. And then uh, doing some flights out in Korea, some low levels, and uh, really getting new experiences for everyone in our squadron out in the Pacific AOR. Yakota has a uh, very unique AOR out here, and uh, by us, the 61st flying out here, we basically get a new skill set and learn uh, how to fly in different parts of the world, whether it may be like language barriers, uh, different airspace uh, problems that we need to overcome, and basically this, this training is essential for us and preparing us for our deployment in uh, different countries that many people haven't been to. So some of the challenges in flying the Indo-PACOM AOR are definitely the uh, vast uh, expanses that we have to cross as aviators. Uh, there's a lot of distance between uh, each individual island and that presents a lot of unique challenges that you wouldn't necessarily have seen uh, if you're just flying in the States or in, over Europe or anywhere where airports are close together. We overcome those challenges with a lot of training, uh, such as this whole capstone itself, um, and flying around and figuring out exactly uh, what we don't know or what we're not prepared for, um, and we are able to identify those and then uh, learn from it and create objectives and accomplish those objectives. Uh, I would say the exercise has uh, been very successful overall. Uh, so far we've launched 100% of the aircraft that we plan to and uh, the weather has been pretty beautiful and uh, cooperative I guess you could say.